Hey guys, and welcome back to Judgment. Now, whew, in the last episode, guys, where we left off, clearly, um, did we, um, we are investigating, like, the murder of, um, the guy that we found in our office, um, basically, somebody killed him, so we still investigating of, like, what happened to him, and why did he call the, I believe it's called the ABC, like, the drug department, uh, where he called, you know, before he died, so, we don't even know like why he called that place in the first place um guys so yeah like i said you know we still investigating of like why did he call that area um and yeah you know like and what happened to him obviously then after that you know when we got to the drug department to the building basically it literally took us back in time you know so base we still obviously like back in time like so this is literally three years early um guys so it literally just took us over here of like what happened with this different case murder um you know it's best and it's literally the same um building like you know that this case murder happened so yeah, then we just took us back over here and you know, we just figuring out, you know, what happened with, you know, the the other case that we are looking into right now over here, guys. Um so yeah. So and also obviously you can see like, you know, he looks obviously different <laughs> than how he how, how he is now. So um uh, yeah, I mean Let's see what's going to happen next, guys. I actually do like, you know, when games, you know, literally, like, it takes you back. And you could actually play when, when you, I mean, what, I like when, you know, like, they take you back in time and you could actually play it when you back in time. Um, I don't know. If, probably you guys get what I'm saying by that, okay? Uh, so yeah, guys. So, anyways, so that's gonna be like what happened in the last episode. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was really interesting. Uh, I really did enjoy the last episode, guys. So we gotta continue, see what happens. So without further ado, and let's do this. Okay, guys. So this is where we left off. Obviously, we're in the same hmm? office. Have you seen Mafia lately? Where's this coming from? This haven't even She's changed. With men. I suggest you be more assertive. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sariko? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? Yeah. That word says more than you think. <laughs> like, I didn't even, like, just notice, guys. Like, this... They, they didn't even change it. Like, it kind of looks the same. I'll keep my lips sealed. I'll keep my lips sealed. Do we have a talk Love back to him? Prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? <laughs> Either way, guess the Okobo case comes first. Pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. That's the case we do it, guys. What is your plan here? This isn't going to be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah? And what's that? Maybe this? It's the hospital room the victim was staying in. 
This is the last place Wakusan was seen before he disappeared. The window doesn't open, so the only way out is through the door. No one saw him leave, though, even though there are always people in the halls. Yeah, the that's weird. The was Okubo with his laundry cart. That's hey, weird. I don't be a downer, but doesn't that point to Okubo being the killer? Well, that's not my point, though. The evidence I showed you is that evidence won't win you the case. Hmm. What the hell's your problem? Was that uh, you, Tommy? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> What the hell? Uh, that bastard. Oh, it's eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Uh, I tried to stop him, but uh, he pulled a stun gun on me. Uh, uh. Who is that? Hey, wait up! Oh, we're about to chase down. Let's go. I like. I, I like when we do this. Oh, wow. Push the one button, guys. Hold up. Ah. I really do like, you know, like when we do this part. I pushed the. Oh my god, I didn't even push the button! <laughs> That's so cool. I really am curious who the hell is this person. What the hell? Let me go. Oh, we are about to fight. Not on my watch, you son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, language, dude. Wow, you really just come over here. Woo. That got a hood. Yeah, you do that. You do that. Okay. And that's how we do it. Well, that's how we get it done, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Punks. Can all lawyers fight like that? No, not all. <laughs> Why? What she was doing there? In the first place. Did you really need to run away like that? <laughs> yeah, I would. You came to see me. <laughs> there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Yes, but I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. Okay, but did you have to tase him? 
Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client attorney privilege. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh huh. Well, that witness is a man by the name of Shonasan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right hand man, too. Hmm. And this is him? Oh, okay, so now I get it, guys. This is the reason why they taking us back to over here, you know, to see like these doctors. Because this is literally the same guy that we saw. Yes. He's a very dedicated doctor, so the nurses have a mm. lot of faith in him. But something fell I off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. Still... Why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team. Alright. We ain't in a court. I'm employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. On the day of the crime, I was making my usual <clears throat> rounds through the ward. Okay, yeah. That's him. And what time was that? Around 7.50? You're sure? Yes. The patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself. Oh, right she was there then. too. This break room, to be precise. That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you pass by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed. Yes. Can you describe the situation to us as you remember it? The door has a window, so you can see into the room from the hallway. And this is the room you're referring to, yes? That's correct. From where okay. I was standing in the hallway, I could see Waku-san lying in bed. He was asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. Hmm. Yagami-sensei. Why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. For a comeback. <laughs> you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. And what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Could I ask you to be <laughs> a little more specific? I thought this face. Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Wakusan sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. 
However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. I have evidence supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. Mm -hmm. There's no way it could... Damn, I don't even know. So this one? Take a look at this, if you would. And this is? Uh... Well, it's an important piece of evidence, but the truly vital part is what I'm going to show you next. I don't know to see. Take a look at this, if you would. And this is? So which one is it? <laughs> is it like the, the window? Let's see. And this is? Uh, well, it's an important... Okay, no. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shonosan would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. Okay, so it was this one. That was my bad, guys. Um. Wakusan was already dead when Shonosan went to check on him. What are you implying? At the time, the defendant hadn't yet collected the linens. In fact, he hadn't even arrived at the ADDC. Meaning, Okubo-san could not have been the murderer. Assuming that's true, then, why did he go through the trouble of hiding Wakusan's body in his laundry cart? Huh? Uh, well, depending on how you look at it... Please. You know this is a court of law, don't you? Sorry, let me st our witness, Shono-san. However, I- What the hell? Oh my god. It's a photo- In other- Um... The one that... who, excuse me? What ground? Uh, please. No. Okay, that's Sorry, the one one. Let's however... do this again. It's a, in other Let's see. Shonosan was lying when he said he saw Wakusan in the bed. Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. He couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Wakusan. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, <coughs> don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Wakusan? The staff nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers. Only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shonosan's testimony is clear that the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7 50 and 8 30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must Okay, so I think we Wakusan's got it right this time, long. guys. That was my bad. <clears throat> but if Shono-san's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility that Wakusan was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, 
Taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. <laughs> Shono-san. Yes? I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Wakusan's room? I saw Wakusan asleep in his bed, I think. And did you get a clear look at his face? I don't remember. So it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. <laughs> Please rephrase the question. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Waku-san was in that bed when you checked on him? I... I, I don't think I can, no. Then the defense rests. But, I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he was the only possible suspect, assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest, then, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he saw the victim. So, your whole case is based on a fuzzy memory? This promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could cure the disease. After paying his own way through medical school, he went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. Day after day, Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart, leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. In other words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <clears throat> because from here, it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Six years ago, the defendant broke his girlfriend's finger. The poor girl is still suffering from the effects. And the cause? Ew. A minor, drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to murder the poor old. Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. Terasawa-san? Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. My court will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Wakusan at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, please. Okubo-san really is an incredible, caring person. Please leave this courtroom at once. Oh, boy. You're right that he may be hard to approach, but he's a kind soul, and he always keeps his promises. Okubo-san's not the only person in this courtroom who would be affected by a guilty verdict, either. As a matter of fact, it would break my heart. 
And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret, not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating. Wow. <laughs> even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. That's just who he is. Um. But when the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal, how could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> I understand that she's upset, guys. Her little outburst wasn't technically admissible, but as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. But only a month after his release, everything changed. Mm. The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence. Yeah. Died by the man's own hand. Wow. <sighs> now I get it, guys. That's the reason why they took us back. Wow. Hi. Something wrong? Now we're back over no, here, guys. Nothing, but wow. I haven't seen you in about three years, Kido san. I see you're still the director. You look familiar, Damn. but I can't quite place the name. He's not the, the, the director for three from... years still? That's crazy. I'm a detective based in Kamurocho now. <laughs> the name's Yagami. That's crazy, guys. I get it now. I remember now. You're the reason Terrasawa Kun's no longer with us. Remember, Shono? <clears throat> Okubo san was unstoppable. If only my testimony had been better. Shono san, right? Does it matter? What brings you here anyway? I'm investigating a murder. Yeah. I need your cooperation with it. Just like old times. <clears throat> yes, I see. Yes, thank you. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. The same Shono-san you were just with? Oh. Yes. However, it's unclear as to what the point of the call was meant to be. Shono was away from his desk at the time, you see, and Shintani-san didn't leave a message. You have no idea what he wanted to talk about? None. Shono says he doesn't know a Shintani-san, and sees no reason why he would be calling. Oh, really? Hmm. Shono that doesn't make sense. The research paper on AD9. He should know who he the is. Obviously, you was talking to him. Strangers pretend to be close friends or relatives <clears throat> in order to contact us. Perhaps Shintani-san fell into that category. Have you heard of the mole murders taking place in Kamurocho, Dr. Kido? Three Yakuza, each one with their eyes gouged out. It's a grisly business. Shintani was killed in the same way. Yep. I've seen the news. Can you think of anything tying the ADDC to those murders? Huh? Just what are you implying? Look, I believe we're done here. There's nothing I can help you with. Please stop! You can't! Who are you? Oh, boy. <laughs> Detective Kuroiwa, Kamuro Police, Organized Crime. <clears throat> now he's here. here has information related to the case I'm currently investigating. That would be you, Yagami. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? Huh. Why?
Wow, that was the end of chapter five. Shintani. What? The last call he made brings the case that ruined Yagami three years ago back to the surface. <clears throat> a patient was taken from a hospital and found buried in the mountains. Yagami defended the suspect, Shinpei Okubo, and got an acquittal. But one month later, he murdered his girlfriend, Emi Terasawa, with a kitchen knife and burned the remains. Yeah, that's, that's still crazy that he didn't even did that, guys. Wow, I cannot believe that that was the end of chapter 5. Now we're in chapter six. A material witness to the murder of the okay. lawyer Masamichi Shintani. Is that so? I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law Office. Officer, is this interview voluntary or? It is. It's your call, Yagami-san. I think I... I'll pass. Yeah, Excuse why do you want to talk to me? You your answer, sir. You can go now. You can make this easier if you come now. Next time, it won't be voluntary. I had nothing to do with Your it. Empty threats don't mean much to a lawyer. Can you take this elsewhere? I really must be too bad. He's not a lawyer anymore. Then. Your what? Your friend's nothing now. Just come along quietly. I'll come back with a warrant if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Oh, ho, ho. Suspect me anyway. yeah, I don't even have a reason. It's I agree. I can come up with a few good ones. Enough. I didn't get the hell out of my office. I didn't even do anything. I didn't kill him. You regret this, Yagami. Karoi was on. So, look at me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> you too. <clears throat> Before we go, can we speak to Shonosan for a sec? We need to know why Shintani called him. Yeah. Listen, I already told you he doesn't know. Get it through your skull. Now, He's supposed to know, guys. Leave. Come on. No problem. We'll let you get back to work. He has to know. He's just lying. This is really getting out of hand, don't you think? Yeah. I can't believe that detective thinks you're a material witness. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. But what I'm more interested in is how he even knew where to find me. That's a good point. Yeah, it was. How did the know we were here? I was in was about to say that. Now, let's focus on Shono, though. How did he know that we was he here? He's coming here and not talking to him. Like, what? Okay. Let's see if the receptionist can help us. Excuse me. That didn't, that doesn't make any sense, guys. Like, how did he know that he was here? Oh, okay. We gotta talk to her again. Can I help you? Actually, I've already been here. I was just with Director Kido. Remember? Um. Oh, of course. Did you forget something, sir? Well, not exactly. I'd actually like to speak to Shono-san, the 89 researcher. Where would I be able to find him? Let me see. Uh, that should be the research wing. I mm. believe he's in the Protein Abnormalities Lab. Probably need a gold keycard to get in there, huh? That's correct, sir. I should be able to lend you one with the director's approval, though. Just <sighs> give me a moment to ask. Could you tell me your name, sir? Actually, uh, never mind. <laughs> Kido-san seemed pretty busy earlier. I'll try back later. Are you sure, sir? Good call. There's no chance Kido-san would let us in. Yeah, obviously. At least now we know where Shono is. Yeah. I wonder if there's a map around here somewhere. Hmm. That's a good question. Let's see. Well, obviously that is a good thing that where he, where he is, that we know. Um, Suspicious. Right here, research wing. This leads to the research wing. The receptionist said he would be in the protein abnormalities lab, right? Huh. 
Well, I guess that's not on this map. Uh-huh. Suspicious. This goes over to the hospital. I think Wakusan was up on the fourth floor. What the? The service entrance parking lot. All the delivery people come in and out through here. This is where Okubo's truck was parked three years ago. Yeah. Suspicious. Director Kido's office. We were just in there. Okay, so is there any other place? Hey. Some kind of security gate, huh? The research wing must be just past there. Hey. This is where we are now, the ADDC lobby. Okay, so I don't think that's not that I was. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yes, ma'am. This is one of Shono-san's researchers. She was just about to return to the lab. Oh? My oh. Name's Ashimoto. <laughs> I can show you into Dr. Shona's lab if you'd like. Sure, yeah. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> Great. We'll take you up on that. Wonderful. Hashimoto-san just happened to be passing through. Thank you. Right this way. I really All appreciate right. this, Hashimoto-san. I'm Yagami. And I'm Hoshino from the Genda Law Office. Thank you for doing this. Oh, don't mention it. I'm glad to help a guest of Director Kido's. This place is so massive, you practically need a tour guide to get around. I hope you're okay <laughs> with walking. Yeah, oh, that's, that's fine. Totally okay. Oh, uh, by the way, we'll be meeting Shono-san in the... Uh... The research. Oh, so, right. Hashimoto-san, what kind of work do you yourself do here? I'm part of the team developing 89. Dr. Shono is the head of that team, but I'm pretty new mm. at that Speaking of, what exactly does AD9 stand for? Well, the AD uh. comes from the name of the center. The Advanced Drug Development Center, ADDC. And it's okay, the ninth drug our department Oh, that was surprisingly easy. I said a one, guys. That's my bad. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Oh, I cannot believe be we actually gonna be here. The market, right? Seems like it's really getting fast tracked because of that. But there's a <clears throat> lot riding on this one, right? It could finally cure Alzheimer's disease. That's right. Do you know how many dementia patients there are in Japan alone? A couple hundred thousand, at least. Maybe even in the millions. Right. As of 2012, there were 4.62 million. That many? Wow. By 2025, that number will increase to at least 7 million. Potentially up to 13 million, including at-risk patients. That's one in every nine people. Yikes. However, as a nation, we're already at capacity in caring for these patients. In many cases, people over 60 are stuck looking after their dementia-struck parents in their own homes. Worldwide, it's estimated there will be 135 million patients by the year 2050. It's staggering. Mm. In other words, AD9 could save the world. This could be a real miracle. I gotta say, uh, this is making me feel kind of bad about how we treated Kido-san back there. Director Kido will go down in history if we achieve this. A lot's changed in three years. Bastard's really made a name for himself. Be nice. That always happens. A lot of things that we do change. Like when year goes by, the other thing does change. Dr. Shono is right over there. Uh, there he well, is. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, 
Let's go talk to him, shall we? Shonasan. Yagami-san. Uh, how did you get in here? <laughs> he's down, he's scared. I, I, I can't do that. Kido-san doesn't know you're here. Does he? Is there a problem? Uh, Ichinose-san. Uh, well, uh... I've never heard you raise your voice, Shono-san. Are mm -hmm. you the guy from the lobby? Yes, he is. My name is Ichinose. I'm here from the Ministry of Health. Offering political support to AD9's development. Huh. Kirosan called you Vice Minister. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Pretty lofty for a Vice Minister. You can boss <laughs> scientists around, but I'm not biting. So I see. Shonosan, please. I just need a few minutes to talk. We'll leave right after we're done, promise. I already told you I, I can't. Not without Kido-san here. I need you to tell me, why did Shintani call you? Mm -hmm. Shintani? I've never heard that name in my life. This is important, Shono. You have to have some idea. Please, I, I don't. Now get out of here. I'm calling Director Kido. Do what you want. He's lying, guys. One thing first. <sighs> he is lying. You seem awfully deferent towards Kido-san. I mean, you won't even talk to me if the guy's not here. So why are you so afraid of him? Well... Given how much tax money is going into the development of AD-9, it's become quite a political matter. As such, the director is being extremely cautious about leaks. But I'm not here to talk about AD-9. I need to know why Shintani called you. And I already told you I don't know. Now please, let me get back to work. What the... What are you doing here? Kido-san. I believe I told you to leave. What about that? Didn't you understand? Why you just cannot tell me? Exactly. I already said Shono doesn't know anything. And I needed to hear that from him, not you. Enough. Call security. We were just leaving. Come on, Hoshinoku. I'll be filing a complaint with the Bar Association. Under the minister's name. The minister? Of health? That's right. Minister Kazami expects great things from AD9. And he won't tolerate distractions from your ilk. Like I said, guys, he's. They lying. Like, they obviously know something, but regardless, they're not even gonna tell us anything, of like course. Because it's always like that. Why would Shintani Sensei have called Shono san? Well, we gotta figure it out. We gotta find out. Yagami san? That wasn't the first time I've heard about Minister Kazumi. Huh? When was it, though? Who was talking to me about the Ministry of Health? Hey, damn. I kinda don't remember. Maybe it was Mafuyu? I don't know. Have you even seen her lately, though, Yagami-san? I thought, you know... Yeah, it's been a while. So that means... It must have been Ayabe. When we were drinking over at Tender. I definitely remember him mentioning Minister Kazumi. We were talking oh yeah, I forgot that was his name. Up in Kamurocho. Apparently, they're being used as muscle for a construction company called the Kajihira Group. A while back, Chairman Kajihira himself was going around, laying the political groundwork for a Tokyo revamp project. And one of the people he met with was Naohisa Kazumi from the Ministry of Health. Huh. You'd think he'd go to the Ministry of Land, though. His project has nothing to do with health. What would he gain from meeting Kazumi? That's true. 
Do you think it has to do with our case somehow? The name won't stop coming up. Is that? I don't know. It depends <clears throat> on what the two of them are talking about. In that case, maybe our Kajihira expert can help us out with that. Who? Sugiyura-san. He used to work for them, remember? Oh, yeah. Now we could talk to him. See what's up. So, you want to know how Kajihira and Kazumi are connected? Yeah. Any way you can find that out? Not really sure, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. You're still at the ADDC, yeah? Just give me some time. I'll call you if I find anything. Alrighty. I hope you find something. <laughs> oh, Yagami-san. Um, I'm gonna head back to the office. I just got an email from Saori-san. Apparently, a journalist named Hattori barged into the office. Says he wants to interview you. Me? It sounds like he's looking into Shintani Sensei's murder, too. Anyway, I'll go ahead and drive him off. <laughs> I'll get the Sensei's ace attorney before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that. Honestly. Why? Too much responsibility for a guy my age, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, you're still I young. I a much better sidekick for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But when that gets old? I don't know that it will. Being a professional sidekick for the rest of my life sounds okay to me. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, well, at least we got out of, you know, that place, guys. The ADDC. So, yeah. So now... I guess we gotta wait. <clears throat> yeah, I guess we gotta wait. Hmm? <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy's face look funny. <laughs> Honestly, I think you are better off taking I and mean, talking about that sort of thing with someone who actually has money. Well, Okay. Like that enemy just came out of nowhere. Like just talking to this guy. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
Why in the face? Ouch. And stay down. Okay, what is it? What the hell is he doing here? What's up? Huh. Chuck. Oh wow. Back to middle school. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> so none time. Mm. It was a business car. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Chuck. Yeah, why not grab a beer together? <laughs> huh? Maybe he said Jack Cat. Okay, partners, huh? I need a bodyguard. <laughs> So I guess he's just going to be joining up. <laughs> That's side case. Nice. Okay, they, they left. Okay. Uh, I guess we gotta wait. Should I do that case? Should I do that, guys? Like, because obviously, like, I still gotta wait.
Um. Obviously, guys, I do have to wait, but, um... Oops, sorry. Something else to do. Yeah, this is really like nothing else to do. What a waste. Oh, I forgot. Like, I could, like, upgrade. I keep forgetting, like, I could, like, do this, guys. I don't know why. Yeah, these are expensive. I mean, not these. These I could do. Why guys I even keep forgetting to do the <laughs> like to upgrade my skills. What is that? That's two hundred yeah, that was two hundred.
There's a crease attack damage. Damn, this guy. Why this is like so much? So I gotta do this one and this one. Okay, this is the boost health mass. Okay, I don't think I don't have enough. Alright guys, I think that's good enough. I mean, I did upgrade a like, pretty good amount of skills, guys. So hey, not bad. Okay, well, I mean... I don't even know what I gotta go because obviously we have to wait. Mm -hmm. I should have had a, a mission there. Okay, so it says we gotta check on on this guy, but where is he? Is it over here? So this is not even the area. Okay.
Is it right there? No? No. Sorry, I keep pushing the one button. Okay. Alrighty, well, I know where we gotta, we gotta go check on this guy, but apparently I don't know where he is. Mm -mm -mm. Well, alright guys, you know what, obviously we, we had to find where this guy is, Akito, I think that's the person's name. Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but if I'm not, sorry guys, I'm just not good with names. But anyways, um, I'm going to end it here. I think this is a good spot for me to end it right here, guys. Um, you know, we literally just getting, like, more information. Obviously, like, this stuff literally lied to us. I don't know why. Now, like, the detective is, like, investigating us, you know, literally wants to talk to us about the murder but maybe he thinks that you know we did the murder I, we, we don't know guys so it, it's just crazy really it just keeps going like up and down up and down so yeah but see what's gonna happen guys really i'm curious though um so yeah i'm enjoying it Alright, but anyways, um, if you, you guys already know, if you guys want to see more gameplay on this, or if you guys want me to continue where we left off here, you guys already know what you have to do. Go ahead and like this video, thumbs up, really well appreciate that support, and it will make my day as always. Also guys, go ahead and share this gameplay with your friends, family, whoever it may be. Go ahead and share this gameplay too, really well appreciate the support. Um, thank you for watching as always guys, and yeah, hopefully I will catch you guys. And then that's one.